why would anybody want to ruin a beautiful piece of quarter ounce generic fine silver bullion by sticking it in dirty terrible chemicals I don't know stay tuned and find out also we've got an awesome mail call today I hope you like it Okay, so we got a box from Mama's Gun Detecting and Jenny and the boys found a bunch of glass. Jenny found a lot of it and we sent it to her and uh, this is what she sent back. I'll read the card. Okay, so we got a card here and it says believe in the magic of Christmas. Uh, Christmas reminds us that wonderful things can happen as long as we believe wishing you a magical season best wishes for a great 2021 sincerely mama's gone detecting all right so we got that thank you so much for this mama's gone detecting this is really cool guys really freaking cool um okay this one i think is a note about the presents so we're gonna read this after we open them i don't want to ruin any surprises for anything so, okay, so Mama's Gun Detecting wanted to know all the kids' nicknames, and she put them on the presents. So we've got some presents in here. Oh, this one is to Yogi Bear. Yogi Bear! Yogi Bear, right there. That's yours. This is to Prexy Girl. This is yours. This one is for Boone. Thank this you. is for Moot. Does anybody know a Moot? Me. Oh, Moot? Okay, this is for Stu. And this is to Dable. Where is, it? is there a Dable? Over here. Dable, here you go. Awesome. Very cool. Mama knows all your nicknames. Wow, what did you get? One cent. 1957. Wow. United States of America. Look what you what got is mine? 1958. Wow. Look that's very classic. Oh my. Look what you got. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. So each one of you guys go up and uh, babe, can oh, you. Oh, this is look what Yogi Bear got. He's got a mouse. You just got a rat, you dirty rat. Oh, <laughs> oh that is cute. I want to see what Aww. mine is. Okay. And now, guys, go ahead and show yours uh, to the camera. Oh, what is this? Very nice. Okay, so I thought, Mama, this is really beautiful. Okay. So go ahead, buddy, and show yours. Here. Very nice. Flip it over. A 58 <laughs> weedy. Now yours. That's a 57. Flip it over. Very nice. Look at that. They've got some cool, cool toning to them. All right, Jenny. There you go. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Looks like Tinkerbell to me. And then mine. Now, that's a semicolon, guys. And we're going to explain that here in just a moment. And she says that mine and Prexy's are gifts are from her 115 to 120 year old walnut tree I did all the work myself oh gosh and then she goes on to talk about the semicolon which we're gonna talk about 
I'm gonna wait till uh, we go ahead and send the kids out and then I'm gonna have a little bit of a chat real quick. So look how awesome this was. Look at this. This is so cool. Man. Thank you so much, Mama's Gone Detecting. Everybody, Thank please. You. Yeah, Thank go you. ahead, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So everybody, please spend some time to go over to Mama's Gone Detecting. Tell her what a great uh, time we had opening the presents from her, if you would, please. Uh, thanks very much, everybody. And we'll continue this. All right, guys. So if anybody doesn't know about the semicolon, um, you can see here, uh, just after some Google results, all right? So... Um, just to show you quickly, which you'll see in many places, uh, tattoo of a semicolon punctuation mark uses a message of affirmation and solidarity against suicide, depression, addiction, and other mental health issues. Uh, being a veteran, um, Mama's Gone Detect and asked me if I knew about the semicolon, and I had previously already because of uh, IGY6, which is a big veteran tattoo. Project Semicolon helps you help those that are considering suicide or self-harm is the answer for their problems. The semicolon is used when an author was going to end their sentence but still had more to say. You can add a semicolon to the end of a would-be sentence and continue on with another thought. The idea behind this is to let those considering suicide that their story is not over. Put a semicolon at the end and continue moving forward. So yeah, IGY6 means I got your six. Your six being your six o'clock, uh, with your 12 o'clock being to the front, and then the hands of a clock every hour moving around clockwise. It's just another way of saying I've got your back. You know, you're not alone. Um, I couldn't have asked for something better. This is beautiful. All right, guys, I really appreciate you watching that mail call with us. That was very special. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and move on to the coin antiquing. All righty, folks. So here we are. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these three coins that were either polished or ruined in some other way. And, and I'm going to show you those as well as uh, this was a reward prize. It's a quarter ounce. 999 fine. I'm gonna see if I can't tarnish it. See what it looks like. So we'll see what happens when we antique some coinage and some fine bouillon using bleach and some tap water. So to start out with, I've got my micro cloth rag to clean the silver uh, before I put it in bleach. And from my understanding, this does not have to stay in very long at all. Let's get this here so we can see the reaction. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm just wiping the coins down to try to remove as much of the oil as I can. That way, the bleach covers the surface as much as possible the same. Okay, so this dime is pretty well wiped down from all oils. And you can tell it's polished, so into the bleach it goes. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit for a while, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to see some changes start happening. Um, probably gonna speed it up here. Okay, these have been in well over 10 minutes. Um, if this doesn't work well, I guess I have to try it with straight bleach, but they are quite darker than they look on the camera. And I believe they're much darker than they were when we started so all right let's pull them out one at a time let's start with the dime we put the dime in first now it doesn't look that tarnished does it but it definitely doesn't look polished 
Okay, I've got my handy dandy steel wool. Now the key is, I guess, to not do this too aggressively. So let's see what I can do here. Coming up on camera as cool as it looks in person. It looks better down there. You can kind of see the tarnish and stuff better on the camera down there. But uh, yeah, it looks really nice in person. Alrighty, folks. We're gonna give it a quick rundown here. This is just a normal 40%. Here's the one that we artificially toned with bleach. Uh, I think I could have left them in there a little longer. But, uh, anyway, it looks a little different. The front, not really so much. But I might try liver of sulfur. Onto the quarter, yeah, whatever. It cleaned up kind of all right. Had some contaminations. Maybe uh, I'll clean this with uh, baking soda and tin foil. You know what I'm saying. Okay, here's the Mercury Dimes. Check this out. So this is the regular, this is the Mercury Dime that was polished. And this is a regular Mercury Dime that I pulled out of my bin. So, and you can see, it doesn't look like it's polished. I don't know, that turned out pretty decent. I bet I can get it more even than that if I try it a little harder. Uh, but I'm going for pretty, not real. Cause I'm not trying to fake anything I'm just making them look better than polished coins so I think I'm gonna get some liver of sulfur try to get this whole background real dark and then polish up the high relief real good again if I left them in the bleach a little longer maybe now this is what's real cool guys check this out this is the one that we antiqued what it looked like beforehand shiny and then that's pretty cool, I think. Oh, you want to check the back out? Okay, cool. We'll check the back out. No problem. Now, again, if I spend a little more time on this, I think I could get it better. But Like that, definitely bouillon. That's what it is, bouillon. But it definitely gives it more of that old money look. Again, if I had finer steel wool, or if I had uh, liver of sulfur... <laughs> Which I might get. It doesn't look terrible, but I know I can do better. Okay, so, with that being said, knowing I can do better, stay tuned as I do it to my Carson City, my Mint State, my 2 ounce Kraken, my 86 first year of the ASE, my Death From Above. We're going to try it on a $5 gold coin. The first year that the U.S. ever minted a curved coin and a platinum gram. I hope you enjoyed the previous part of this Saturday morning premiere party, and I hope you enjoy the end. Take care.